Hey guys, my name is Jack Sorensen. Uh, I'm a wide receiver at Miami University. Um, I'm six foot, 195 pounds. So, um, what goals did I set out to accomplish in my final season uh, at Miami? So, I set a couple personal goals and, and team goals going into this 2021 season. Um, I knew that for my own shot at playing in the NFL, I had to have a great year of production. Um, so, so my personal preseason goals this year were to get around uh, 1,100 yards receiving, uh, 12 touchdowns, 70 plus receptions, uh, have five great blocks per game, and one special teams play per game. Um, as a team, you know, we, we set out to achieve a couple different goals. You know, the first was to win the MAC East, um, then to become MAC championships, and then to win a bowl game. Unfortunately, this season we weren't able to achieve the first two, but we did go on uh, to to win the Frisco Bowl, um, and, and so we are champions in that. And we brought a, a bowl win back to Miami for the first time in over a decade. So that was a really really special way to end my career at Miami. Um, second question is how how do you think you took advantage of the extra year of eligibility? Um, so for me, the the extra year that we got was very important, uh, just in helping myself, uh, helping put myself in a position to make it in the NFL. You know, I, I wanted to focus a lot of my attention on improving my football IQ. Uh, as well as making sure that you know I'm doing everything in the weight room and training room to get my body um, to, to where it can make it through 14 or 15 games healthy. Um, you know, talking to some different resources that my coaches had. Uh, these were two different areas that scouts wanted to see improvement in my game. Uh, you know, they wanted to see that I could be durable and want to see me play uh, with a higher level of football IQ and understand what the defenses are doing and react quicker to it. So, you know, Coach Izzy, our, our receiver coach, as well as a, a variety of my different teammates so uh, you know we would do deep dives into understanding coverages blitzes etc and just how they affect the overall shell of the defenses where the gaps and opportunities would be um, in each of those coverages and then, and then how to you know devise a plan to attack those um, you know I think I think in that area I was really able to take some strides and show major improvement um, in both the the durability aspect of making it through an entire season healthy and then also with improving some of my football IQ and making better decisions uh, and reacting better to certain situations so um, third question, you know, what would some of my coaches and teammates say about the type of player I am? I would like to say my coach would say I'm a selfless leader. You know, I think early on in the program, uh, we had a bunch of bunch of different people and leaders that were focused on, uh, you know, um, focused on what the organization, the team could do for them rather than, uh, you know, what they could do for the organization. And, and it really sucked the life out of the program. It was difficult to be motivated when the goal wasn't team oriented, rather it was based on someone's personal agenda. Um, so when I got an opportunity to be a leader in this organization, start you know to change the culture where I believe it would be most beneficial, um, you know I wanted to make sure that it was player focused. Uh, I wanted to make sure that the culture, um, you know, was bought into helping each of the players achieve their personal goals as well as the team goals. Um, and, you know, a culture that encouraged commitment and respect to each other. Uh, you know, I think I think my team would say that I'm an optimist. Also, I think I believe in people, and I also believe in the power of positive momentum. Um, I think it's more enjoyable to go through your day being happy than sad, and I feel that there's more opportunity to achieve your uh, and, and be productive um, when you're not dwelling on the negatives throughout the day. So, um, you know, and kind of off this, I think my teammates and coaches would say that I'm focused on the process of personal and team growth. You know, I, I absolutely love personal and team growth. Um, I thoroughly enjoy, you know, going through difficult times and hardships because I think from for me, you know, in these moments of strain, there's there's opportunities to grow. Um, development and organizational growth is something that I really, really value just because I think it's, uh, you know, I think the way that you grow as a person on the field can directly help you in the real world. Uh, and at the end of the day, football stops for everybody, and you really need to be able to um, figure out ways to be successful um, when football is over. So you find a way for it to transition. Um, fourth question When you're studying film, what are things that you uh, focus on um, to improve your game? Um, for me, you know, when I'm studying film weekly, I'm always focused on opportunities that I can take to attack different weak points in the DBs that I'm facing. So uh, whether that's finding discomfort for them opening left or right, planning off their left foot or right foot, feeling pressure on the inside stemming routes, biting early on short routes, eyes on the inside, uh, on the QB, etc. All these different things. You know, I think they help me understand how to run routes that week and, um, and you know, because that, that's, that's what I do. I just try to attack individual weaknesses. So I also watch film, though, to understand defensive tendencies, you know, whether it's first down, second down, third down. We're in the red zone. We're backed up in our own end. There's always tendencies and data that show, you know, uh, typical defensive uh, defenses uh, of coverages, blitzes, or personnels that are going to be in the game. So, you know, having just having that understanding for me, I think, helps me play faster and more confident 
Um, like I said above, it just increases my opportunity to have a higher uh, football IQ. Um, and then it also uh, allows me to run different routes and react to defensive changes better and more efficient. Um, so question five, what, what separates me from other pro prospects at my position? I believe that other guys at my position have some intangible traits that I don't have. So, you know, that are, I, I guess, perceived to be necessary to play this position, whether that's height, length, hand size, speed, etc. I think that for most, um, this can serve as a crutch. You know, having these traits and never being discounted or thrown uh, to the side when you're coming up doesn't really allow you to develop or place importance on other necessary traits for success. Um, you know, I know that I won't be outworked um, in the weight room, on the field, conditioning, uh, two-minute drives in the film room, etc. You know, I've developed a love and a commitment for being the most consistently hard-working person in, in the organization, um, and I believe it's more important to be consistently good than periodically great. Um, you know, I think that um, that this is what I kind of bring to the table more than anybody else. You know, I've never I've never been seen as the greatest player, uh, the one that is picked first at recess, the one that people want to build a team around. It's always been a slow grind, pushing through and past people's expectations and showing them them and, and, and teams and organizations that I am and, and can be their, their leader and their best player. Um, so question six, um, what is your off-season plan to train and prepare for per professional opportunities? Um, this off-season I'm going to do kind of all my combine prep back in Chicago with EFT and TC Boost. Um, for me, I just think that they offer the best resume of athletes who've, who they've helped decrease 40 times and, and their field testing events. Um, I think they also have a great support staff and resources for interview prep, rehab, re recovery facilities, and, and so on and so on. Um, and, and also they have a staff that I've worked with before who I believe will be personally invested in my development and success. Um, I'll also get to work with my receiver coach, Landon Cox, um, and he's helped me uh, you know, to get to the position I am today. Um, I'll also be attending the Tropical Bowl down in Orlando from, from the 12th to the 16th of January, so this is going to be a pretty good opportunity for me to get exposure to scouts and, and to, get a, to, to get to play against some top tier talent. Um, and then equally as important um, for me I, is to, to prepare yourself for life after football. Um, you know, at some point this game is going to end for everybody and for me I want to be able to succeed in life after football as well. So therefore I, I'm working on my master's in, in business administration as well as working to start up a nonprofit organization with my girlfriend, Paige Kaufman. Um, it's going to be called The Passion Project, you know, we're just going to be able to find um, uh, so with this, we'll be able to direct our focus, you know, just to different pain points in different communities um, and individuals and help empower them and change for the better. Um, question seven, what kind of strengths and abilities will you bring to a team that will stand out both on and off the field? So, you know, I think, uh, I mentioned it a little bit above, you know, I bring, I think I bring consistency and personality, character, attention to detail, um, determination, passion, communication. Uh, you know, I set the standard through consistency of my actions on and off the field. Um, I bring a servant style of leadership that creates a culture of respect and commitment to each other. And I value the organization and the people involved. As I understand, you know, with any large organizations, there's hundreds of thousands of people that are making what we do on the field possible. So, um, you know, I, th I just think I, what I do is I set the example for what the culture should be. And I think people start to buy into that. And then it changes the culture um, for the better of the organization. So, question eight, what's my final pitch to the NFL and to other pro leagues. My final pitch to an NFL team would be to tell them that I understand that this is a business, um, that as a player you're either an asset or a liability. Um, I believe that I've shown through my life and, and, and through my college career to be an asset, even when people believed it would, I would be a liability. Um, I believe in my abilities. Um, I've learned ways to overcome different qualities that are seen as non-negotiables for wide receiver. Uh, you know, I've, I've shown through consistency in my actions that um, as, as well as production year to year that I can create positive cultures and lead teams to championships and successful seasons. Uh, I believe in people and I, uh, I have been you know, successful in understanding how to set attainable organizational goals, align people's personal goals with this goal, and then create passion and drive in individuals to achieve these goals. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, you are a liability or, or an asset to a team. I've been an asset to Miami for six years and, be and believe strongly that you know, I'll be an asset for whichever team uh, believes in my abilities. So, yeah, that's my interview. I'm Jack Sorensen from Miami University again, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what this next brings, and hopefully I'm with uh, an NFL team come next year.